In today's review, I'm going to be talking about Grizzly, the classic wooden roller coaster at King's Dominion. The history of Grizzly is somewhat historic as the ride opened in 1982 and is actually based on the Cincinnati, Ohio's Coney Island Wildcat design. Some of you guys may know that the beast at Kings Island was originally going to be modeled after the shooting star another classic wooden coaster at Cincinnati, Ohio's Coney Island. And that turned into a whole nother project, obviously, and became the legendary beast. Grizzly was designed featuring a classic double out and back design, and it has a length of 3,150 feet, stands at a height of 87 feet, and overall, this is just a really fun classic wooden coaster. First things first, this ride is actually very rough. That is not a huge surprise being that this is an older wooden coaster. There was some retracking done, I could tell, somewhat recently. So some of the parts were actually pretty smooth. There were parts where I did get jolted around a lot. So if you're not a fan of really rough wooden coasters, I would stay away from this. But it does have that really classic vintage old school wooden coaster vibe and I love that. I had a great time on this ride, even though it was painful. I remember riding this the first time and I was just screaming ow, ow, ow the whole time, but I was having a great time on it. There's a couple pretty good pops of airtime. You've got a tunnel, which is awesome, and I'm sure that the night ride on this would be absolutely crazy. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a night ride on it, and hopefully I will be able to at some point. I feel like this is one of those rides that is sort of up there with the beast as far as night rides go, although this one isn't talked about nearly as much. So I would love to experience the Grizzly at night. I think that'd be fantastic. I really love the layout of this. It's just a simple double out and back design, but it's very effective, very fun, has a couple really cool bank turns, and this is actually a really intense ride. It picks up a lot of speed. It has a couple big drops, and then you're just going over some small hills after that. And when you get to some of those later turnarounds in the ride, I mean, you are hauling. When you go through that last turnaround, you're flying through it, and you get some crazy laterals on that section. It's just an unbanked turnaround, and I absolutely love that part. One of the best parts of the ride. I love the tunnel. I love the crazy laterals. There's a couple good pops of airtime. And actually, something else really interesting is after you go down the first drop, that turnaround after the drop actually goes up really high. It's basically pretty much as tall as the first hill. And you even like slow way down at the top of it and you can feel the chain catching you and taking you to the top of the turnaround. Like that's how high it is. And I was really surprised by that. So it's just, it's fascinating to me. Just little things like that. Just looking at how the ride is designed and the way it is buried back in the woods. I absolutely love the setting of this ride. It's kind of hard to find at first and you even have to walk through a gift shop to get to the entrance of this ride, but it's just totally set back in the woods and you can barely see it from anywhere in the park. I mean, it's just engulfed in the natural greenery and it's beautiful. I just love walking through the line and going up to the station because you're just walking through the woods and it's just like so peaceful and quiet. And also as a result of the location of this ride, it never has a line it's always a walk on. That's definitely a plus. You can always walk on this. So even if you're not a big fan of the ride, you're not going to be waiting, you know, more than a couple minutes for it. Like I said, this is a very, very rough ride, but I don't think it's too painful to enjoy it. As a fan of wooden coasters, I definitely enjoy Grizzly. I do think it could maybe use some reprofiling, possibly like a GCI type treatment, like something that's been done to Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm. I think that would be great for this ride, and uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if it did happen eventually. Cedar Fair seems to love working with GCI and stuff like that recently, so I think that'd be great for this ride. As it stands though currently, this ride operates with the classic Philadelphia Toboggan Company trains. It has two trains with seven cars. The full day that I was at King's Dominion, they were only running Grizzly with one train, and that's all they really needed. Like I said, it's always a walk-on. The one train operation wasn't really bad with this. 
Plus the ride isn't that long. For Grizzly's overall score, I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. It's a fine ride, has some good airtime, a great layout, and it is very rough but I don't think it really takes all that much away from the ride being a classic wooden coaster. I think it's fine on this ride, to be honest. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Grizzly. I know California's Great America's Grizzly is a clone of this ride, and that is often considered by many to be one of the worst coasters out there. So I would love to hear your guys' opinions. If you've ridden both of them, what do you think about this one versus the CGA one or vice versa? Let me know all that in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and be sure to follow me on Facebook, Coaster Daddy, and on Instagram as Coaster Daddy Official. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.